Hey yo, Z King Fight News. Let's talk about this one. The Mayweather Boxing Channel has supported Tyson Fury in the aftermath of him defeating Deontay Wilder by corner stoppage and has ignored claims that Tyson Fury cheated. In fact, they tried to debunk the claims, then they tried to agree with the claims, and now they've tried to discredit the channel that originated this whole conversation. Let's talk about it, man. It's King Fight News. All right, so basically, when it comes to Tyson Fury, when he beat Deontay Wilder, I had nothing but praise for him. Up until I find out, this dude has some funny ass, funny, funny ass gloves. He had some funny ass gloves um, in the first and second fight. Now, it's funny because no one really talked about this shit after the first fight. No one saw it. No one talked about it. Right? Nobody picked up on it after the first fight. And it's, it's, it's almost hilarious that the attention really was was focused so much on that 12th round that it's like people forgot about everything else they saw the knockout knocked down said holy shit what's up why didn't they stop the fight the referee you know speaking on that first fight I've never seen the referee go down on his knees for a count. I've seen him I've seen a referee go down on his knees to protect the fighter and stop the fight. But I've never seen a referee go down on his knees for a count. But that's what Jack Reese did. He went down on two knees during his count with Tyson Fury. Now, I, I, if you're a really astute and you and you study the game, I want to know the last time y'all saw some shit like that. That's what I want to know. Cause that was that was a rarity in in and of itself, and a lot of rare shit happened. Uh, Tyson Fury has as as now uncovered. A history with this left glove. Right here, you, you see the shot. A UK referee caught this dude without his thumb in the glove. He said, where, where, where's this dude's fingers? His hand was not in the glove. And they had to change the glove before this fight in the UK. It was against Christian Hammer. Christian Hammer. So, meanwhile, while this is going on, the Mayweather Channel, whoever runs it, I hear it's two white guys, uh, oddly enough, <laughs> that run the Mayweather Channel. Um, first, they tried to debunk the whole fake glove thing, and they didn't even have the right gloves. They didn't have the MX gloves, oddly enough. Like, if you're going to do a legit experiment, Come correct, like come with the right gloves. But anyways, and, and come with the glove with laces, you know. But they didn't do that. And I think I think they had it with one guy. One guy actually had a glove with laces, but the other two or three uh, um, participants. In the experiment, never had no lace gloves. They had these other strap-on shits. And I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this shit. I'm gonna try this shit. By the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this Tyson Fury glove experiment. But anyways, then the Mayweather Channel puts out something that completely does a 180 and has to agree with with the theory that Tyson Fury cheated, right? And I call it a theory because, oddly enough, it, it hasn't gotten mainstream support, but support is rising. 
It's not going. This shit's not going away, man. It's not going away. And it, it, it's funny how Tyson Fury is quiet on it. It's funny how Deontay. It's funny how Deontay Wilder is quiet on it as well. But what's more interesting is this Mayweather channel. They've injected themselves into this, yet they haven't done anything to prove or disprove. They haven't done anything to conclusively disprove this uh, whole glove tampering controversy. They haven't done anything to disprove it. All they've done is taken a huge L, and now they come up with, with some real... This is some real race baiting bullshit. Is what they what they've done. So so fuck this channel. This channel is run by two bitch ass hoes. That's what it is, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. And it's funny because it all started when they just asked Jeff Mayweather a question. They asked Jeff Mayweather, "Hey, what do you think about the whole glove thing? If your hand is in, not all the way in the gloves, is that an advantage?" Jeff Mayweather was like, "Yo, you know what? That is an advantage." Because anytime you're punching without padding around your fist, if there is less padding, it's an advantage. It's gonna it's gonna have more impact. So the Mayweather Channel puts out this shit. Mayweather Channel destroys Young Pharaoh's race agenda. Now what in the fuck does this have to do with glove tampering? What in the fuck does this have to do with the conversation? You know what? The one thing I respect about the kid, Young Pharaoh, and I call him the kid because he seems like a young dude. And he calls himself Young Pharaoh. So I'm going to call him the kid, Young Pharaoh. The one thing I respect about him is he's an actual fighter. He's an actual fighter. So it's not like we're talking to this, this dude who, who's, who's, one, not a boxing fan, and two, not a fighter. No, he... He, he, he's a casual boxing fan that picked up on this shit and he's an actual fighter right and he actually did the experiment to show that if your hand isn't all the way in the gloves the gloves will flap it'll flap around it'll flop around but they bring in this grease ball of a promoter on their channel and basically like this guy Basically calls this dude a racist, uh, like like a, a uh, this shit. It, it literally is is so it's so low and dirty and fucking like like just grimy, greasy shit. You know, You're like that. And it, it it's only a reflection of how poor the channel is handling the situation, right? That's what it is. And I, 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 you know, I've never really tuned into the Mayweather channel up until now, and and it's it, it's quite a shame. It's quite a shame they got to put this guy on to try and discredit a guy w without trying to beat him with, with facts, without trying to say, oh, you know what, you know, maybe that was the palm of his hand. Maybe that wasn't. The, the the wrist, you know, even even though wh wh when I look back on it, the one thing that really hit me to think, okay, maybe there's something really to this, is 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 this image right here. This is the image that got me thinking, because you know what? One, Tyson Fury got caught doing this five years ago. Two, are those is that blood on his knuckles? Is that blood on Tyson Fury's wraps? Now, something doesn't add up to me. If that's blood on Tyson Fury's wraps, we got a problem. We got a problem. Because you know what? There should be blood on the glove. There shouldn't be blood on the wraps. Those wraps should be white. They should be white. And I'm just, I'm just trying, you know, I keep it 100 over here, man. Is there something fucked up with the gloves? Absolutely. Should Wilder's team have caught on to this after the first fight? Absolutely. 
Should Wilder's team have thoroughly inspected Tyson Fury's gloves and the handling of those gloves? Absolutely. Did they do their due diligence? Absolutely not. Right? They, they clearly didn't. As far as I know. Hey, hey, well, we're being very results based, but at the same time, even Deontay Wilder did not do his due diligence going into that rematch because he was not prepared for the style adjustment that Tyson Fury made. That's another thing nobody wants to talk about. Wilder was not prepared for the style adjustment that Tyson Fury made going into the rematch. His team was not prepared. So, um, He's got to get on point uh, for a trilogy fight that will be epic, that will be intriguing. A lot of it has to do with this right here, because I don't know if Tyson Fury won the fight fair and square, but I do know he won the fight, so I, it is what it is, you know. And at the end of the day, if it's proven, and it looks like it's pretty damn close. But, you know, let, let, let's keep it this way. Tyson Fury's on trial right now on the internet. There's a trial out for Tyson Fury on the internet right now. But will this escalate to real life? That's the real question. And I'm gonna leave it to you guys, man. TK Fighting, you smash the like button. And subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what it is, man. Peace.